quite often I got asked how to combine chords and melodies really when you play neo soul guitar. So I thought to put together a simple chord progression to talk about it. Now in this chord progression we really have only four chords, F major 7, C minor 7, B flat major 7 and E flat major 7 which I'm playing as a shared voicing. Okay. Now I thought about this chord progression, about this riff in 6-8 which basically means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is something important in order to understand where to start from uh, when you approach this chord progression. So when you play this which is the first part with the little melody around the F major 7 I'm thinking already that I am in the 4, 5, 6 of that first bar, okay? Almost like if the C minor is the very first bar of the actual chord progression, okay? So I think of it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, and now we'll see all the rest. Now I think that the best way to put together a sort of melody uh, when you play these chords is really working around the chords, okay? So that means obviously creating small melodies within the chords, like when I played... My melody was... Okay, it's literally like playing this chord, sorry, this melody I mean, but while you play the chord. And then you move here. And the other element is actually looking for embellishments. So embellishments that you can play once you play the chord, once you strum it. For instance, on the C minor 7, I'm doing this when I approach this chord, which means so this is the melody, right? And then with my little finger, I'm playing traditional, you know, neo soul embellishments on the 1st and 2nd string, getting the minor 7th and the 11th of the chord. Like that, or up to you which embellishments you want to play. And then I go to uh, B flat major 7, when sometimes you can just play your, uh, the chord, like a strum on the chord, and then you know, just a single note arpeggio, that already describes another melody. Okay, this is a D minor triad that you find within a B flat major 7 chord. So... And then I go to the next chord, where again I just strum the chord first, the E flat major 7 in shell voicing. And then here I play an actual melody, probably this is the only part of the chord progression of the riff where I play the melody without the chord, when I play this, which to me is, is a sort of call that then asks for a response, which is going to be the, the first two notes that I play as a hammer-on, as an embellishment within the F major 7, so... Okay. So in this first example, the melody was... And then probably things like things like that and then B flat major 7 where we played this melody this arpeggio within the B flat major 7 we went here and we played the like that okay once you are familiar with this and you see the logic behind it you know embellishments hammer-ons and pull-offs, you know, uh, notes within the chord that you can play as arpeggios, notes around the chord that you can play like when I play this, which effectively is like playing the ninth and the major third of this chord, okay? Around the chord and then start again. This describes the melody and then you can start improvising it, okay? You can start doing... Okay, this was similar, but not exactly the same. On the B flat major 7, I liked to play the same kind of melody that I played on the F major 7. And when I reached the E flat major 7, I repeated the bass note on its own. It sounds different. Okay. Now, obviously, um, we said already about the 6-8 time signature. 
what I think about in terms of length of the chords is literally one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 That's how we get that the first part of what I was playing is actually starting on the four, five, six, the second beat, the second half of the six, eight bar. Now guys, probably just by watching this video and having a look at the chord diagrams and the close-ups and everything, you can already figure out everything. But if you need a tab of music notation of every note that I'm playing in the embellishments, in the arpeggios, in the melodies, you can find it on my Patreon page. So if you want to support this channel, think about becoming a Patreon. You will find lots of rewards, including tabs and music notations of chord progressions that I play on acoustic, on electric guitar here on the channel. Okay, so let's play this riff once more. Right, that's all for this lesson guys, I hope you enjoyed it and again if you want to support this channel think about becoming a patron and if you want to find out more about this guitar that I'm playing, this Dan Electro that I'm playing, you will find the full specs in another link in the description below. Alright, anyway thanks for watching guys and have a great day.